Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Magic Craft Run, the action combat roguelike that allows you to create the most busted spells that you can think of, if you can create them. And uh, now, today I'm gonna play with this new character we have, I mean it's just the skin but it's a character nonetheless, that starts with this thing, uh, remotely control your wand and you can cast spells up to 5 meters away, spell influence radius master percent, so that means we have less AoE, but we can use melee spells from afar, that's the main idea here. And we also start with one that has arcane explosion, so we start with an arcane explosion. Let's do the run and let's see how this is gonna go. Um, obviously I'm gonna play on hard mode because why not? And this here at the end is a super secret boss that's most likely gonna kill us and make this run be a loss, but it's okay. Let's go. Explosions. Okay, this is very powerful right now. Right away we got a laser. What would the laser look like on our wand? Let's have this open. Oh, I can close this. I always have this open all the time normally. Oh, it just shoots the laser from the wand. Uh, I wouldn't say this is worth it. I'm gonna go and say we're stick to Arcane Explosion. Let's actually full on invest into the idea of how this is gonna play. By the way, I also realized something. Uh, I'm always saying relics are the best, but you can get so many spells that you can get tier 3 spells. And I think that makes a difference. But I'm gonna go with relics. <laughs> I still believe relics is the best. Uh, this guy's gonna chase us. Now, these opponents here have a uh, run towards the me whenever they get damaged. That's what they do. Very easy opponent here. This is on hit spawn some butterflies, but the butterflies don't even spawn because AoE. Whoop. Easy enough because you can destroy the butterflies. That is, I do enjoy what we're doing right now. Increase movement speed. Generates magic missiles that follow behind you whenever you kill an enemy. Chance to dodge attack. Let's go with chance to dodge attack. And let's go relics. <laughs> Let's go even more relics. I still believe relics is the best thing. Also, because of meta progression, I have a higher chance of getting rarer relics. So that's also really helpful. Uh, laser beam boy. Look at this. I can even attack them behind the walls. How awesome is that? I really enjoy this wand. Or at least this ability already. This is a relic, by the way, that we just start with. It's not like you cannot have this exact same experience with any other class or character. It's just that we get access to it. We're going to lose life here for the this. Nice. You should always, always, always open up those chests. And also should have taken the relic first because something based on chests could have happened. All enemies take a damage if they're close to you. Uh, all damage I have taken increases my damage by 1% per 2 points missing. Absorb all HP, recovery, and give you 35 max life. I'm gonna say at low life I do damage is the play. This is also good, but I'm gonna go with a low life do damage. That's my idea here. Uh, money against spells, I would say let's go with spells. Although, although, the money has a benefit. The money has the benefit of giving you... A, I think the money is like 10 to 15 coins. Ah, let's go spells. Uh, what I'm trying to say is the money is 15 to 20 coins and it's gonna give us enough money so that from the shop I can buy two spells anyway, right? That's that's the idea here. I think that's true. I think that's true. Let's actually see how many coins we get from money. I, I'm skipping one spell. This really it's not that important. So we have 10 coins right now. Let's see how many coins we're gonna have at the end of this. Uh, although I need to keep in uh, mind if money drops on the ground because I don't want to count that okay now we have mana issues very nice okay more opponents these guys have explode on death into a healing circle to I guess support your pets okay so I have 10 coins this does not count so let's say I have 11 coins let's see how many we get so 10 minus 1 29 so that means we got so let's say 28, so that means we got 18 coins out of this. 18 coins, and now we need to just remember how uh, the next shop, if it's gonna be worth it. This is remove a curse by the way, I don't need to combo, let's go with more max life. More max life is gonna be pretty important in this run in general, because I have gotten this uh, when you are missing life, you do more damage. So if I have 300 life, for example, which I'm not gonna get that much, but just saying the random number. If I have 300 life and I'm missing 200, that's 100% damage boost right there because of the life itself. So pretty much um, these encounters here, the, the life thing, the max life thing, always gives you 20 max life. So in other words, that's 10% damage in the future for the Berserker's Eye. Uh, let's actually make sure. Yeah, from 60, we went up to 80. So when this 20 I just got misses, I'm gonna get 10% damage from the Berserker's Eye. That's how I'm thinking about that. I have a key to open up the chest. So we're gonna open up the chest. In general, in my opinion, you should always open up the chest with keys because um, because you might get a key out of that. So let's open this up. And I didn't get a key, but I got a Thunderstorm projectile spell. And I also got a Ghost Fire and a cooldown 70%. So let's open up this thing. I'm going to say I also want electricity. So an explosion. Oh, this is very expensive. Yeah, this costs 33. Well, I'm going to stick to Arcane Explosions then if it's costing 23. Although this has 22 DPS. Mm, let's actually try that. Cooldown is a guaranteed yes. 
let's go to a boss fight. Although I'm not really sure about the electricity here. Yeah, an explosion. Well, I mean, it definitely did more damage than it could have, would have, should have. Nice. Yeah, electricity is definitely helping DPS-wise. Let's rotate over to my electricity, please. Of course, we have issues with range, but it's okay. I do enjoy that the spider does this projectile attack where it's supposed to go between. Like, that, that shows that there is thought on the dev side, right? Because it shoots once only in the middle and then once around the middle. So you're supposed to realize that you can just avoid by not going left or right. Which I really much enjoy. We won. Very nice. And we got a good old, what is it called, a magic wand. Let's see what we get. Sticky Fang. First of all, it makes opponents have 60% uh, less movement speed and 8% projectile speed for 3 seconds. Uh, final damage, 20% higher. That's nice. Mana region, decent low mana though. This is a decent powerful book, specifically from the damage part. This is 20% multiplicative damage at the end. Because this final damage. Scatter plus 3 is nothing. Guiding Fable. This is a leg wire. Okay. Nothing really important here. This is just a normal weapon. No abilities, no nothing. Uh, and also, this isn't even crazy good. Yeah, this is not good in general. It's a normal weapon. I'm gonna go with the Sticky Fang, I would say. It has the bonus here. This is not a downside. It has more mana region than that. It has low mana, but it's okay. I already had low mana anyway. My mana region was 11. This is 12. It's straight up better. We're transitioning over to the other weapon. The number 2... Oh, and it's... Oh, because it's sticky, it's green. Okay, that's nice as an animation. I'm gonna go Relics, as always. Relics can have so many things. Relics might have... You do more damage. Uh, yep, by everything. Relics might have... Your, uh, your, you have more AoE. Oh, come on, man. I was stuck on that wall. <laughs> that was a very easy thing to avoid, but I got still regardless. I'm gonna upgrade one of your Relics. If you don't have one, get a random common one. I mean, it's either gonna upgrade the range. One of your Relics, yep. Yeah. We're gonna upgrade the range, or the dodge chance, or the damage. So this is really good as of this moment. Generate the magic. Yeah, we're going with this. And I got the range. So now I have 9 meter radius. I can be farther out. Very nice. Very farther out, that is. Uh, money against crafting spells. I'm gonna go money, I would say. Yeah, literally, I can just straight up attack from wherever. Uh, this is electricity like, poison ground, which is gonna damage us if I go close to it. Also, this electricity in general is really good because it does chain reaction attacks. So, if two opponents are hitting each other, they both are hitting each other. Does that make sense? All right, this guy now is hitting that guy too. It didn't happen though. Oh, we won a god. Let's, let's make sure it's the same. Let's get the coin. So, we have 3d1. I mean, I had 3d minus 1 based on what appears. 61. Wow. So, that was 3d coins. Okay, so coins is more worth it than... Oh, I'm doing 19 damage now. Yeah, coins is more worth it... I'm, I'm stuck. Then going to this. That's what I tried to say. Coins are more worth it than that. Nice. Oh, you know what I should do? I should do this and then, like, put down electricity. Why? And then rotate back to this thing. Yeah, that's what I should do. Uh, let's go to the shop, obviously. As I'm literally setting this up this whole time. What is this? This is reroll, I think. Yeah, I can refresh the goodies. I found a 19... A spell book, 19 cost, and it does what? Spells track the target. Okay, uh, it's good, but I don't think I need it. Chance to automatically cast a spell on another wand. I'm gonna definitely take this. It's It costs 7, we buy this, instantly put it on another wand. As simple as that. Now I'm even thinking about getting this now. Scatter 80, full salvo 5. Oh, I, I understand now. This fires everything inside of it. And it fires it in random uh, trajectories, but it also tracks down opponents while doing that. That's cool. Crit chance plus 5. Spells deal uh, damage to one or meteor enemy, maybe. I'm gonna get the keys, I would say. Double keys is good. Left spell, release, right spell. You know what? I'm gonna reroll here. I can, find, I can find a better one thing than this. Although the good thing with Symphony is I could just have 5 projectile weapons here. I don't think we care about that, though. Let's roll them. Okay, so it's good to know that the rolls, first of all, are free, and secondly, they roll only the things that are left. So we just found another double key for 11. And now I have enough keys to open up everything. Archifaxium, random, randomized orb effect radius. Okay, this is everything becomes loop-de-loop -loop around you. That's a bit weird because I have this farther out shooting, so it's gonna be loop-de-loop -loop over there, I think. I'm not really sure that's part of the, what I want to do. What is this? MP cost more, spells become multiple shots of two. Uh, this works with explosions and everything else pretty much, so I'm gonna buy this for 19. 
And now I think I have a triple explosion or something. Yep, I have a triple explosion now. So more mana, but also more efficiency. Yep, and I also have the free setting up of electricity. That's nice. Uh, let's continue roll. I mean, I have one more roll. Why actually not use it? 11 for like, two keys. That's nice. Toy dagger. I can't buy it, but just reading through it. Uh, what is this? Rebound. Not really something awesome. Booby traps. Indiscriminate damage means I can also get damage. So this is one of the most useless stuff. Let's get another two keys. Now I have six keys and hopefully I'm going to remember looking left and right for keys and anything that might need keys. Because that's now a difference maker. Also this triple damage. I should always center it so that opponents get hit by all three of them. Those explosions might not be going exactly perfect. I have to say I'm super happy about the fact I'm getting this electricity. Uh, this is a king slime. That's a king slime. Uh, okay, it's gonna take us a while. We got him. Got him, boys. Got him. And I got my relic. Very nice. Give me this, the one I have for damage. What is this? Gain 15 points of temporary shield when entering room. This is godlike because this is literally 15 damage for free blocked every room. 3% chance to get a potion when you drink a potion. Damage based on money. We're going here. I'm gonna do damage based on money build at some point for sure. Let's get a tier 2 spell because these doors always give you a tier 2 spell. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the, these two. Okay, got it. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the other 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these 2, and then the rest. This is a very easy puzzle. You just need to remember the first, the second, and the third. <laughs> um, and I got a summon. Nice. And I would say let's have the summon up here once in a while. 48 mana. I can't even cast that. Wait, what? 40, 48 mana. Ah. Okay, well, I can't cast it right now. I'm gonna cast it later when I get a better spell, a better pet. Or I can just reroll it into another star item anyway. Maybe a better arcane explosion. Okay, everything died. Boom, boom, boom. Push him down, push him down. Yeah, actually, pushing them down is the play. Boop, boop. Or killing them, for that matter. I feel like the range isn't as big as it used to be. Boom, bye. Bye, all of you. That's awesome. I loved what just happened. Mana region, that's always cool. And parasite, my summons die. Nice, I can set up a parasite build. With you plus you. These two are good. Parasite gives you 3% attack and movement speed, but they slowly die and then they summon parasites. Mana region, obviously, on the one we currently have. The rest is irrelevant. Let's get this and this. I think the slow on the ground should not stay forever, but it's also irrelevant if it does or not. But still, I still I think it, it should not stay forever. Um, let's go. Uh, money, obviously, now that we know that money is important. Uh, not important, but good. Now that we know that money is good. Push them. What hit me? Oh, uh, random projectile on death hit me. I'm gone. Whoop. Oh, this pulls me in when he pulls... Yeah, that was a weird enemy. So that thing pulled me in when I was damaging it. By the way, I haven't even lost my temporary shield. That's how busted that is. So, uh, we have 13. I think these diamonds are 5. Yeah, these diamonds are 5. And I'm at 31 now. Definitely, the money is definitely worth it. I'm gonna go max life, obviously, because once again, we're going with Berserker side play here. So the more max life I can get, the better. As uh, that's gonna help us increase our DPS exponentially late game. And as I said, each point of each time I get this life, it's 10% more damage if I ever get low life. If I lose that same life I just gained. Also, let's have... Ah, I got hit multiple times, but still, the shield is busted. I'm telling you, this relic, really, really good. It's rare. I haven't found a single epic relic yet, or a legendary if that even exists. And I think I found one epic spell once only, and it's not even recorded because it was a free run on my end. Let's go, let's go for the first boss fight, which is the cube, if I remember correctly. Whoa, this is new. I've, first time I'm seeing this. Venomous Spider Egg. First time seeing this ever. Okay, we continue damaging this thing. We don't have mana. Okay, I'm getting damaged. Well, I would have gotten damaged there anyway. There was no choice, really. Okay, this was a nice setup. This was also a nice setup. Oh, it's spawning things and I'm just destroying them too fast. I see what's happening. And there I just set up poison on the ground. And here it's doing the thing again. So this time I need to set it up better. Yep, as far away from the as possible. And I'm assuming there is a phase 2, as it was with... Oh, there is no phase 2. And I even got the devil deal, because I perfected this fight, even though I got hit. But because I have temporary shielding, easy. Let's see what choices we get. Alien Visitor. 200 MP and 30 mana gen. Really good. Uh, big interval and big cooldown. And gives you the Mr. King's hand. Someone. This is really good. They're slow on attacks, but really good. A lot of slots, a lot of mana, a lot of everything. Shock Wand. First of all, 
cooldown for free, which I already have. So it has a, an almost non-existing fire interval, an almost non-existing cooldown, and a very good mana regen. This is really awesome. Scatter plus 3D, who cares? Mana cost higher though. 5% chance to restore full MP when casting. And 20% chance to refresh cooldown. Okay, so the idea with this thing, it says shock wand, but as far as I'm concerned, this is a laser wand. Like you put all the lasers in, the fire interval becomes zero, cooldown becomes zero, mana region becomes zero, and then it's like, and you just hope that the mana region's kicking in and you just have infinite attacks. I think this fits a bit better. Mm, I, I don't think this really fit. I have 60 mana right now, 20 mana region. It's gonna make the spells more expensive though. That's the main issue. Chance to fully recover MP is only 5% would be that good either. I'm gonna say let's get the 50 choices. 15 mana regen. The thing I have has 15. No, it doesn't have 15. Let's open up my inventory. I'm gonna transfer over to... This is locked. I'm gonna transfer over to the new weapon now. Uh, I need something that has like salvo so it fires all of these. I'm gonna say you are the pet build now. So, how would I use this? Oh, that's it. No downside, no upside. Just, just damage the opponents again, again, again. Do I try this for a moment? Ah... I don't think it's really that worth it. We're gonna stick to it randomly electrifying, and I always attack. And I can also do this here. This is super expensive, 58. This is 3D. I wouldn't say these are good things. I mean, this this is definitely useless. Unless this alien visitor is supposed to be doing something. I don't think it's supposed to be doing something. Can I really check this out for a moment? Ah. It's just summons. Numbers of shots. Oh, this this shoots? Wait a minute. I'm gonna test this out. Uh, let's definitely go to the devil room and see what we have here. Epic, you are airborne. Oh, this, this is the, the, the... I guess I had used epic relics. Airborne in this trap is no longer do anything to you. 25% chance to replicate a spell in a random direction every time you cast a spell. I had this and this is godlike. I think we're gonna trick that. Uh, when dying, you come back at 50% of HP. This is also really powerful. I'm gonna get this. I'm losing max HP for these. Uh, a revive and losing half of your health, but now losing 35, right? I don't think this is worth it. Although, in general, it is worth it, but not right now. So, does the does the chance to explode the spell to the other side even happen? Will you get the spell in a random direction every time you cast spell? I'm not seeing it. Does it need to be arranged? I guess no. Oh, it just happened there. It fired backwards. Okay, so I guess it has just a chance to fire it backwards from the position it spawns. So, therefore, that means sometimes it has a chance to spawn... Yeah, more tentacles. That's it. Let's go, I would say. Okay, so the run's going well. That was a mini pause because I looked over the recording. And we're gonna go max life. Okay, so I'm setting these up and see what they do. Um, oh, they, they attack from below, like, with spikes. Um, is that good? It feels good. It feels powerful and also feels global. I think this is global. Uh, let's make them parasites. So that they have more attack speed and more damage, but when they die they also spawn parasites, so it's just a win-win. How much life do these things have? 15, and this is 2 damage per second. It's not really that much, but getting free parasites is nice. It marks life. And uh, I would like to have some kind of spell that I can explode things with so that I can maybe get money out of it. Because the game has money inside uh, items. Nice. And let's get another relic. I'm not sure about this, but let's try. Go. Do not tell me this is get. Is this projectile on hit? I still have not gotten hit yet. Wow, the, the, the floor needed to end for us to actually get hit. Gotta enjoy that. <laughs> more opponents, we're not done yet. Your toast, more opponents. I send me one, and what is this? Get a random chest, might as well. Ooh, boom, and I got a no chest. A uh, shielding chest, okay, whatever. The relic is rare here. Slow down enemies, project in three minutes. This is really, really, really powerful. This is also good, but this is extremely powerful. Five healing on door enter, maybe. I'm gonna go with proje um, projectiles close to us get slowed down. I'm gonna continue going for money. Let's set up my pets. Rotate over to the second weapon. I think that's... Wait, was I confused there? I don't know what happened. Oh, the, it's this guy that pulls you in. Rotate back to the tentacles. Let's actually close these. 
Honestly, that's how we're gonna play this. We're gonna switch weapons once in a while. Oh, this pulls me in. <laughs> I always forget about that. Come on. Come on. Come on, go down. Spawn more tentacles again. Rotate back to my normal attack. Nice. I do enjoy the tentacles, honestly. Them helping DPS is nice. And also the fact that they're global, or at least almost global. I really like that too. Is this damn? Oh, everything is damageable. Nice. I forgot about that. And we have a chest with a key. Good thing we have 50,000 keys. Keys within keys? No, that's just money and a potion. Enemies cannot detect you until you launch an attack. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, from 55 coins, we go up to... Uh, this time, not that much. This time, only 69. And we're going to use a key here to go off to the secret path. It would be nice to be flying now, wouldn't it? I don't think I there is, needs to be a perfect, as far as I know. I'm going to wait one more turn. Okay, this is my chance. Okay, should be easy-ish. No, it should not. I'm going to wait for the buzzers to go. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Oh, I can just rush through this if I wanted to. By the way, on the way back, nothing is going to be here. I could have passed through that. Ah, it's okay. We're done. I, as you understand, I got bored. Meteor. Deal and discriminate damage. 93 damage, 24 cooldown. Uh, I mean, discriminate mainly means that it's going to hit us too. Can I see this in action though? That's not it. You know what? I'm going to try this. Let's try Meteor Rain. Effect radius is a bit less, but I can shoot it exactly where I want to. Uh, let's go. I think you can shoot it anywhere where you want to. Healing? No. Let's go spells. Forced into us this time. Okay, Meteors is an insta-kill right now, so we're sticking to Meteors. Oh yeah, this is an insane weapon right now. I guess we're gonna stick to Meteors in general. Maybe this is a Meteor build. Man, this is insane damage-wise. I mean, indiscriminate damage makes sense to be busted. As I can hit myself with this and die. Come on. Nice, easy enough. Open up. FBI. Project rainbow, okay. And... Accuracy. Can I try this? More accuracy? It goes exactly what I want to is the idea here. Yep, and I would also like to see Rainbow with his wand. A shotgun to the face. You know what, let's try the shotgun to the face build. Because Rainbow does not do low damage. Or damage. Or damage. Times 14 shots though. This is 93 damage. Times 2 shots. Oh, this is plus. This is Meteor Plus, that's why it busted. Launches two smaller Meteorites dealing the screen. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm understanding why it's busted. I see this, by the way. Hey, pets. <laughs> no. Uh, actually, you know what? How much mana is this? 50 mana. That's <laughs> such a problematic thing. I'm thinking they should go here. 50 mana, 45. And they should also go here. And they should leave over there. Yeah, I think that's better. Let's have my... I want to see the shotgun. And then we're going to rotate back to the meteor, obviously. Let's go with spells. I still do not want to really combine anything. We're, we're powerful enough as is. Shotgun blast, shotgun blast. No, we're rotating back to meteor. Instant, instant meteor rotation. Yeah, you think you're safe inside the walls just because you're ghosts? You came to the wrong neighborhood. Uh, electricity is not discriminate damage, only meteors are. So as long as the meteors are on, not on the ground, we're safe. And the opposite, as long as the meteors are already fired, we're safe. I'm not gonna be able to get out of this. Wait, are these afraid like to go close to you or something? Is this the boo? Are these boo ghosts? Unlock everything locked in the current room. Okay, that's my second chest because I now can have a second potion because I have access to two potions now. Got another tentacle and Mr. Keyhead. Mr. Keyhead is always nice, but it costs 50 mana, so it has to be here. So once in a while I'm gonna be spawning that, I guess. It's okay. Meteor, meteor, and nothing else though. Let's continue. Uh, relic, obviously, over shopping. I have a lot of money, but definitely relic over shopping. And at the end of the day, I might get the thing that says your... Um, what is it called? Your money gives you damage. Because that's like every three coins gives you 1% damage. And every three coins is easy. Like, I'm thinking at 50 coins, not 100... Co no, at 90 coins, it's 30% damage. 30% damage is sizable. And I have... I can easily get 300 coins. What is this monstrosity here? Do these combine or something? Okay, the meteor is definitely not good for this. I'm gonna rotate back to my very first weapon. That attacks a bit faster at least. Nice. Are we done yet? Nope. 
Slowly but surely. Oh, got him. Aha, my projectiles get slowed down. This, by the way, this projectiles get slowed down is really good. 22% chance to dodge godlike. Heal when damaging? No. Deal damage when you get damage. No, we're going with 22% chance to dodge an attack. That's 1 out of 5. 1 out of 5 attacks, you literally take 0. Let's go relics. Continue with relics. Meteors for sure. Boom. Dead instantly. Also dead. Yup, you're gone. That's a snake there. You go, good old Mr. Struggles. It's not like I'm gonna meteor drop you to death. Uh, I need to get the relic that says indiscriminate damage to yourself only does one damage no matter what. Because... Um, yeah, I mean, it's very obvious why. I want to stick to meteors. Imp region plus that's godlike. Random upgrade the relic you already have. Uh, if it hits the first, the second, the third... I don't remember what this is. This is godlike. Uh, this is the splitting of spells. And I also don't remember what this is. I think this is the play. Mana region is good and all, but I want this. If it hits one, two, three, we're good. It hit this, so I get 1.5 damage per two points of health missing. What was that, by the way? Slow down projectile. This could have also been good. Yeah, literally all of them are good. Maybe not the shield at the beginning, but if I can get the thing that says you might get a relic you already have again, I'm, I'm gonna take it as of this moment because I have decent relics. Boss time. First time I'm seeing this guy too. Uh, you know what? Mr. Keegan doesn't function the way I'm playing this. Oh, that's the way. At least I'm doing... I don't know what these waves do. I'm gonna assume that the waves reflect projectiles back and because I don't have projectiles, they do nothing. That's my assumption here. Uh, lovely. Lovely setup you made there. Yeah, I'm still having the shield, so it doesn't matter that I got hit. And we won. Easy enough. And the spells we got are... Mana cost reduction and tracking spells. I'm gonna go tracking spells on you in case the meteors somehow go towards the opponents. Yes, that's, that's an assumption here. And I'm gonna go cheaper spells. Can I do this here and then... Just meteor rain? Yeah, just meteor rain. I like this, just Meteor Rain. Although I do 75 damage instead of 93. And the same vein I could do this so we get more electricities out. This might even be better, honestly. 50-50 uh, on it being better, though. I'm gonna try it with cheaper Meteors for now. The Meteors are tracking, perfect. This is insanely awesome. This is, this is perfect. We have tracking Meteors, man. I got exactly what I wanted. This is insane. Insanity has begun. Insanitato, let's go. By the way, I'm gonna use this, open up all the locked things, if I have two or more locked things. Right now I have one, for example. This might be keys within keys, by the way. Nope. It's a relic. Increase movement speed. I'm not even gonna pick it up right now. I will pick it up, though, forcefully. Uh, so, from 86. We go up to... I don't know, I'm going away, by the way. 112. Yeah, I want to get the thing that says money is damage. And I can stick to the money build. Uh, let's go movement speed. Now I don't want to get get a random one because we know we're going to get the movement speed. I'm going to go max life, obviously, because especially now that I have 1.5 per life. So to every 20, every one of these max life, give me 15% uh, damage. If you think about it. Why do I have spider legs? I'm ugly. This is very, very creepy what I look like right now. Very creepy. Look what we look like. And I have just realized all the relics are actually shown in your character. So, this is very weird. Man, these meteors are awesome, is what I'm going to say. I love it. And I'm super lucky that we got this energy saver. It'd be cool if I could get another one. Making them cost 50 or 50. Maybe 20%, 25% cost. Okay, let's obviously open this up too. I mean, I can use the potion that opens everything up whenever I need to anyway. Okay, I need to go in there and press the buttons to become blue, blue, yellow, yellow, and yeah, let's go. Red, blue, no, that needs to be yellow, that needs to be blue, and this needs to be yellow. This is ready, this is ready, this is ready, and this is ready, and we got a power attraction. Whenever I hit something, I have a crit chance, first of all, I have a crit chance, which is already good because I have 15%, and then if somebody gets hit, another one gets hit too. So that's nice. I got a really awesome thing going on here. I could throw away the multi-shot, by the way, to make this be instantly uh, super consistent. Mana cost-wise. But I do enjoy the multi-shot, so let's go. 
or spells. Although a lot of these are missing. Yep, let's go. Let's fire Meteor Rain. This is insane. Meteor Rain. Meteor Rain. No, come on, man. I got hit by my own meteors, by the way, and I lost so much life. I guarantee need to get the thing that says indiscriminate damage is not hitting you. Uh, full salvo. Full salvo means that it shoots all the spells at the same time. This is actually good for this. So that both of these both of these cast now. Whenever this fires. It's an arcane explosion. Oh, the meteor goes exactly where I want to. Irrelevant of the this thing, of the magic robe. That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, mana regen. I would like to get more mana regen, not more multi-shot. I want to all the time be attacking. Yeah, okay. So, let's go open up that chest. I have still two keys. Well, and I also still have the potion, so move. 24, yeah, money makes you, gives you money. What is this? You cannot be detected. I don't care about this. I'm going with money gives you money. Let's go relic. Let's go relics. So, I reduced how many meteors I shoot. But I increased how many times I can shoot. Whoop, evade, evade. I evaded twice there because luck is with us. Stay away from me. The ghost almost hit us, but nothing actually hit us. Tracking meteors. Yeah, kill the opponents while they're far away from me. Where are you going, ghost? Where are you going, ghosts? Run. I need to remember that this electric ground is mine. And I should not be afraid of it. I also would like to make my meteors be tracking better, because right now they're tracking very mediocrely. This here, a uh, 15% angle is not that good. Summon three elves that interchep projectile, that's really good. Uh, get 35 max life, restore 4 MP whenever kill enemy. This is really good if I invest more into my spell. Instead of having one basic spell, I actually make it a lot more having a bunch of abilities going on. Otherwise, this is not needed. We have a lot of mana anyway. Uh, I think I'm going with this. I'm gonna go with my next healings are gonna go towards me having more life, so I do more damage pretty much. That's my idea here. And I got another chest. I'm gonna open this up. Unlock everything locked in the room. Nah. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Enemies cannot detect you. That's a useless potion. Might as well take it to drink it though. And then take this. And let's go with, I would say, more health as we have the eye going on. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And I'm seeing chest here on the ground. Uh, hopefully there is like a secret room or something else to... Oops, stay away. I don't need to be close to anything, by the way. I can just be away. Oh, these guys are chasing us. Yeah, as long as I'm far away from everything, we're safe. I'm gonna drink the potion that says everything is opened. Boom. Just like that, I'm out of keys. And I bought 50,000 keys from the shops, and I'm still out of keys. What is this? I had a chance to get yeah, immune to poison, and then we poison for a time. Uh, I would say money. We continue with that idea. I'm gonna get my spells from shops. Nice. Everything's dead. You know what? I'm seeing the issue here with the meteors being tracking. If opponents are behind me, they tr it tries to track them, and it might hit me. That's what's happening. I need to always start shooting them exactly where the opponents are. Because if, if I try to shoot it towards the left and there's no point towards my right, the meter's gonna go towards me. Right? I need to be... I need to have nobody behind me. That's why I'm thinking about this. And I tanked 18 damage right there. That was a lot of damage to tank. Okay, let's get the money. Nice. Max health is what I would say. So let's go on. I'd like to also drink the You're Immune to Poison build. Okay, and now I'm moving towards something all the time. This can easily kill us, by the way. Stay away from me. This is the stupid poison thing I hate. It lasts 10 seconds, though. Whoa. I got damaged a bit too much. Oof, my meteors are also hitting me. I think the relic that says indiscriminate damage is the most important thing to get here. More eyes. Rise, stay to the corner. Yeah, I shouldn't ever go out of corners, man. I'm global anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's also a big mistake. I should just stick to a corner. Also, I'm getting more and more damage with what I'm doing. So, the fact that we're doing a lot of damage is real. Uh, I'm gonna go relics, I would say. We need some kind of healing relic. For sure. 
Hey, look, we got the vase that was doing on on taking damage attacks you. Are you serious? Haha, <laughs> did you see how many of these we missed? I'm gonna get hit. I can't get out of the corner. Are these gonna go away? Yes. The boxes almost hit us. Healing. And when I say healing, I actually mean we the, the potion drinks it, right? Don't we have the thing that eats it? Yeah, we're 50 out of 50. Oh, it's done. Nice. MP plus 20. Decent. Grants better... Grants better sight distance. Is this gonna make the map zoom out? I'm gonna go here because this gives 20 max mana to everything. And that's really good for the offhands here. What's the curse this provides? Traps increase damage. That's not a curse, honestly. I'm gonna take this. And we heal twice. Nice. We traded healing twice with traps being more dangerous. I think that's a good trade. I don't think there is money to be found in before boss fights. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's go. We're doing 100 damage, by the way. 107. The cage! This is a fight I should be able to handle. Run away. Do not get hit by the lasers. It's about to fire. Wow, I should have gotten hit there. Laser beam. I should get hit here. I didn't. Laser around the round. Yep, look at this. Meteor rain, meteor rain, meteor... Oops, stop attacking. Meteor rain. And that's gonna become... Phase 2! Dun dun. It's raining meteor as long as I'm far away from this thing. It's gonna do a loot! It's gonna hit us! Ah, movement speed! I think we have movement speed. I, I just need to be very far away. That's it. Yep, you see, whatever attack it does, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm not even close to it. Yep, still doesn't matter. Yep, easy enough. Still doesn't up, laser beam, you go closer so you avoid the loop-de-loop. -loop. So you're able to loop, and we won. Easy enough. Easy enough. Man, the meteors are awesome. And we're still not even, and this is not in our final form. Healing, meta progression, meta progression, meta progression, and now we get a good wand for the first wand. Uh, what is this? Psychic Sword. 140, ma 140 um, MP and 18 mana regen. That's nice. Good cooldown, good intervals. Your shots go where your mouse is, and you they also faster, and Thunderstorm. So the idea is you have Thunderstorms moving around wherever you spawn them. Because I can spawn them on my cursor, and then I can also move them with my cursor. You just have a Thunderstorm going around. I like this as an idea. What is the shapeshifter? This has a very good interval, but very bad cooldown. This is not forced to stick, by by the way, with this. I can just put things in that are different. But I can get these three choices. This is a rare, a common, and a, and, a, and the thing I have. And this is just a rare imitate spell. I don't think this is worth it. Full salvo 3 means it's gonna fire all three spells it has inside of it. So, theoretically, you can fire... Um, I don't know, electricity and meteors and something else at the same time, but I, th I think we're gonna go here. Obviously, that's the wrong one to switch, but it's okay. And now I have my, I guess, weapon. Where are the electricities going? Uh, excuse me? Yeah, look at this. They're not going where my cursor is, that's for sure. <laughs> like, this, this aspect is not actually working out. Can I try this with something else? I have something here that makes this weird. The scatter. Oh, I think the tracking might be the issue. Yeah, the tracking of opponents is the issue. Look how fast this fires, by the way. And I've just realized something. Forget the tracking. I mean, I don't need the tracking. First of all, I can do this, which is the, tr the actual tracking. And then, can I have electricity on this like it used to be? Because I'm thinking right now, maybe we switch the bill around. Maybe we just set these up, and they just chase down opponents. Look how many of these I set up. Look look how many I set up. And this is a lot of damage. Uh, I want this here. And I want to see if this uh, chases the cursor thing is even a thing. Because it might not be. This might not be working over the, the, the track themselves. So I want to see this in action. Because this is a very powerful build if I can set up like 50,000 thunderstorms and just destroy the opponent through that. That would be nice. And the first spell, um, I guess the pet build. <laughs> I guess the first one is just set up some pets. Could I have a full solve on that? No. 
Uh, yeah, I think this is the play. I want to see this. And at most, I can throw away the track and put in the multi-shot. Let's see what the cursed relics are. Entering a shop or witch work. A side room is guaranteed. Okay. When dying, you cannot you can come back with half health. I, I'm gonna take that most likely. Picking up coins will restore the same amount of HP. I had this previously. Uh these are both really good. Do I need this amount of healing? I don't think so. I'm gonna go with uh when dying, come back with half health. Because that's two lives. And that means we're gonna have one life with 100 150, and then the second life with 75 health. So I'm I'm accepting this deal. This one I don't need to. Let's go. And uh, I want to see this tracking electric on the ground because electricity on the ground is good in my opinion. And also I'm going to get rid of the meteor thing being an issue for me. Uh, I'm seeing the shop, but I'm going to still go relics. Let's see this in action. It's not exactly tracking. A lot of electricity is going on. And I'm out of mana. I'm not really sure how good this is. Can I get rid of this for a moment and see how this looks now? Uh, it still is moving into random direct. I'm blind sometimes. Uh, I wouldn't say this is the play. I need to beat this fight and then rotate back to my my beloved meteor. Here we go. So they are dangerous. I'm afraid of my own meteors. Whoop! You know what? Rotate back to electricity again. I need to be able to get rid of everything on the ground. There are too many opponents all over the place. Almost got hit there. This is... We're, we're not... Uh, we're not made for this right now. We don't do enough damage at all. I don't have a build that is able to handle this. I evaded there. Although I literally run towards it. I'm gonna switch the build in a moment. I want to go back to my meteors. I want to make sure this is correct. You're gone. You're gone. Almost got hit. I'm rotating back to Meteors, even if it's dangerous. Also, I think this should be here. On the way. You know what I actually need? I actually need the plus damage things I don't have. I don't have any of those plus damage things. Man, I don't know. It really feels like Meteors is better. I just need to be somewhere where there isn't a single opponent. <laughs> and no dropping or everywhere. I guess flight is important. The thing with the traps do double damage to you, very bad as of this exact moment. I just got hit by my own meteor. I'm gonna die, man. We're, we're about to lose a life here from all the meteors we have and everything else. Refresh chances on relics, immune to slows, and also movement speed. All enemies take damage if they're close to you. I'm gonna go with refresh relics. Max life is forest. I mean, theoretically, now I should go to the forge. Although I want to get the max life still. I'm gonna go like forge once and just get super duper build going. Or I can go forge now and get a decent build. Man, I need to get the tracking to be better is what I think. I'm going forge now. The time has come. How much DPS do we even have? I wouldn't say we have that much. 300 DPS is on the lower end of things. Now, okay, just increase it to 700, so this definitely stays. Uh, okay, time to reroll stuff. Laser beam goes, we're never going laser beam. Uh, I didn't even use it once. Rainbow, I'm gonna keep it. Parasite, I'm also not really using pets. I mean, ghost flame is even more useless. Spell duration might be useful. Uh, the, the tracking is not used. Wally is also not used. No, I am using Wally. Although I'm not sure if I should be using Wally. And I'm thinking maybe Arcane Explosion should go. Maybe even Accelerator should go. Because this thing might be the main issue that makes the Meteors actually destroy us. Is that true? Let's see. Now my DPS is 600. First of all, throw this out for a moment. Does that make it cheaper? Nope. Let's throw that out for a moment. And uh, let's not try this again with only the Christie and without the acceleration. If anything, I should do this and test out things. Let's see how much damage we do here. 570 DPS, nice. Now let's try it with the speed boost. Is that any better or worse? 
it feels like it's worse because they're missing a bit more. We do more damage on the outsides though. I think Accelerator is not really needed for what we're playing. Let's throw this out. Splits. Nice. Splits is actually good. So let's try Splits. Let's assume we don't have this right now. I'm gonna go when the Meteors pop, right? Release when ends. So when the Meteor pops, it fires electricity. Should be super expensive. Now this is super expensive. Is the damage worth it? Uh, no. The DPS is the same. It's good to know in general if something is worth it or not. Okay, also DPS is the same here. I don't want to invest into anything that make, doesn't make sense. Arcane Explosion though might be good. So when the Meteors drop somewhere, Arcane Explosion happens. Also not worth it. Okay, most of these are not worth it. And the reason being is because I don't get these passives that I already have built in. I think that's why... Uh, we don't do that much damage. These do not matter. Yeah, because I get the on crit, I split the damage. This did 700 here. Mm, I'm gonna continue. So let's full solo. Let's throw that away. Spell penetration pretty useless. Okay, tentacles. Let's combine those. It's a better summon. But what I care about is rolling it. That's useless. 50% uh, damage for engine parasites. No. Super Rainbow. You know what? Let's actually keep the Super Rainbow exist here. Uh, spell Duration is pretty useless, I would say. Mr. Keegan number 2, I'm gonna stick to that. Let's get the splits going. 70% cool, I'm gonna stick to that. And uh, Parasite's not gonna get used. Also not gonna use. Not gonna get used. Not gonna get used. Duet. The right spell releases when the left spell ends. The right spell inherits 20% of the damage of the left spell. This is good. Because Meteors do a lot of damage. So, this actually fits. So when the Meteor ends, it shoots out electricity. But the electricity is a busted electricity. That was a lot of mana really quickly. Yeah, this is 3D DPS. But it is actually a lot of mana very quickly. Hmm, my god, can you explode me? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm not really sure. Let's continue rolling. This is useless. Laser beam, no. Laser beam is rare. Yeah, hey, attach one will fight for you for free. I'm gonna go, you start spawning stuff. Yeah, so we got the summon boy spawning stuff for free. We still have indiscriminate damage, but at least this thing is working out on its own. Uh, I want to definitely level up my electricities. I'm gonna say we have... You know, because we have two of these rainbows, I'm thinking we could have rolled these two rainbows into another rainbow and then just combine. But that doesn't make sense. Just get something else. Nice, I got two duets, that's good. Parasite useless. Splits. Spell splits in three projectiles. Wait a minute, this might be super dangerous. want to see this in action. Yeah, that is super dangerous. Because it shoots meteors where we already have meteors. It's gonna kill us if we are close to it. So let's throw that out. No. Volley, also no. And that thing broke. But we rolled at the very end, 20% damage, so that's nice. Straight up, we keep that. And uh, could I do something like this? I'm not sure if this is worth it. Wait a minute, instead of Meteors, can I use just Arcane Explosions? No, we're not even doing remotely close. No, we're gonna stick to Meteors. Uh, the cooldown is irrelevant, right? It just makes us attack a bit faster. Uh, where's the Meteor? Here it is. Mm, and we're gonna also go damage. And I think we're good. And I would like electricity to cost on itself. Uh, we have two duets. They're gonna stay. I think we're good. Yeah, we're getting free pets. It is what it is. We don't have parasites. Do we have anything to combine? As far as I know, no. I should have rerolled things that are high level already. Anyway, let's go shopping. This broke. It's gone. I forgot to make my money become more money before I actually do anything there. Nice meteors is better, as always. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to meteors, man. And I started believing that I should have gone with you get mana when you kill stuff. Let's go with you become immune to poison for a room, and then you also... I drank the wrong... I died. How did I die? I drank the wrong potion, by the way. 
Indiscriminate damage, gotta love it, right? That's how I died. Man, I died from discriminate damage, and I also drank the stupid potion that gives you money, which I didn't want to do. Ah, relics. You know what the actual issue is? Because I have crazy damage with this indiscriminate damage, if it hits me, the, the less health I have, the more damage the meteors do. So that is actually killing me, literally. Stay away from me. Yep. Good thing I have the revive, by the way, because we would have died right here and there. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking about uploading this video regardless of us winning or not. Most of the time I'm always uploading wins mostly because I want to showcase something specific and the losses actually take away from the experience. But I think this is at the perfect version already. So this is the experience. You drop meteors and you die. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe I pressed the trap I didn't see. Grants better side distance. Displays against HP. More health and uh, mana when you drink potions. Well, this is a bit too late. Side distance is zoom out. Side distance is zoom out. <laughs> and I have my neck... What is this? Look at me! <laughs> this is so stupid. Let's go shopping. I guess I'm gonna buy some dice. Uh, let's go here. This is the dash. This is the mana region. Nice. What is this? Archmage Holy Sword. Scatter a lot and crit rate. 40% crit rate. The slow interval, good cooldown. This is very powerful. Is it better than anything I have? Not really. Not really. But it's definitely better than this thing. I mean, this slows opponents down with electricity. Not really either. It's better than this thing. This doesn't even have mana. Yeah, I mean, is it? 13 mana, 18 mana. Yes, it is. So, uh, let's do a switch. Uh, do I want to do a switch? Is there any reason to do a switch? It's gonna summon more that are gonna crit also. Yeah, we're gonna do the switch. Yeah, 40% crit rate. Wait a minute. Can I switch these like that? No, that's not a thing. Well, I need to switch them one by one. This is 18 mana region, this is 24. I mean, does it have 24? Maybe it's the same thing. 24 too. Obviously this is better. Because um, it has a higher crit chance. <laughs> Straight up, whips and crit chance. And the sword can stay there. And summon on its own. And also let's give it mana region, why not? Uh, do I have anything else that's also good? Cool on, why not? Does this have cool on? No, 0.6. Actually, that thing on the top does not need cool on. Can you summon Mr. Keegan twice? I don't think you can. I think it's gonna respawn it just the same. And now it's gonna respawn it here too. 3, 2, 1. Yeah, it just respawns it, so this does not make sense. Uh, let's see what else there is. A lightning projectile dash. These are two rare spells. I'm gonna get two rare spells. Uh, charging. I would like to see charging on the meteor. Whoop. Boom. A thousand damage right away. Whoop. Boom. Oh yeah, we're going here. A very a lot higher DPS. I have rerolls. Maybe I'm gonna get some keys. Nice. Is this two coins for what? Five shielding. Not really. Roll again for keys. Didn't roll keys. Two coins for life. Might as well. Two coins for five life. Let's go dice. <laughs> this, is, this looks so stupid. Let's zoom out. Whoop, boom. Whoop, boom. By the way, if these meteors hit us, we die. Whoop. I'm ready for it. Boom. Still alive. The one died though. Boom. Oh, stay away. Oh, stay away, stay away, stay away. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Power up the laser. Powering up the laser. Where are you? I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Here we go. It's better. Slow down time for 12 seconds. Nice. Two spells. Uh, electricity, whatever. Booby trap, whatever. Okay, this goes here. So these between them do electricity. Spell cast simultaneously are chained and deal 14 damage. Objects along the path. This, this is completely relevant anyway. Uh, bombs that have discriminate damage. Definitely no. This goes right there. Relics, obviously. Or max life for more damage. I'm going to go relics. I need to find the radical heals. Boom! Whoa! I just took 3D damage. Because opponents were behind us. As I said, that is the main issue. Boom! Kill all of them. I need to be at the bottom now. Yeah, I need to be in corners where there are not a single opponent in sight. I almost died there. And now I do even more damage, so I can... Oh, that, that could have killed us. I do even more damage than I previously did. So, if anything, I can still easily kill myself here. Or be in the corner. Over there, fire those. I need to pay super duper attention to where the opponents are. Oh, 
Boom. And one more hit. Nice. I need to get indiscriminate damage that doesn't do anything to us. 50% crit chance, nice. I'm gonna go with the crit chance. And 50% healing, let's go. Boom, and I am I have enough health so that I don't die on my own. And also lose 10 life to randomly remove a curse. That got hit from the shield, so I don't have the curse anymore. Let's go to the first boss. I'm waiting for you. Here you go, boom! Half life down. Boom! Boom! Boss dead. No, almost died myself. Easy, destroy this guy. Heal up. The more health we have, the less damage we do, and the less damage we do, the less <laughs> the less easily we die from our own spells. Leveled up, uh, slow opponent down thingy, and leveled up lightning. Leveled up lightning is gonna get rerolled. Leveled up slow thingy. I'm gonna even put on my pets, so my pets now slow, and my electricity on the ground slows. This wand is doing almost nothing. <laughs> Why did I keep this? I should have no the what? I think I should not have kept this. Maybe for the slow. Maybe I may back up for the slow. I don't know what I was thinking then. Maybe laser beam. Oh, almost died. I think the corners are the safest spot to be at. Stay away from me. Because the corners have a very low chance of having a random opponent be there. You see, uh, the laser is either going to go up or it's going to go like sideways. But it's not going to go to a corner. Boom. Oh, boom. The meteor rain is so awesome. Jump over. Nice. Destroyed. Oh, oh, oh. Stay away. I'm safe in my corner. Laser them down! Oh, who's the real? I think this guy's the real. This guy's the real. Isn't it the one that's different? I don't know how you can see who the real is. Well, it doesn't matter, they're dead all. All of them are dead anyway. Oh, meteors! Instant death on all of them. Meteors! Whoa, should have gotten hit, but didn't. That's the real one, theoretically. Whoa, he appeared behind me. Could have died. Need to pay attention where everything is on the board. Got the real one. Nice. And we have 37 coins. That's gonna become... Uh, 52. What is this? If there are happen... If there happens to be five type of curses, remove them all. Need to have exactly five. Slow down time. Let's lose life, obviously, here. Especially... I, I evaded the losing of life, and I got a key out of that. Uh, I would say we continue with re-rolling spells and whatnot because we're closing into the end of the game. So let's first of all re-roll the good ones this time. No. Actually, that might have been good. Uh, what is this? Udon less. Scatter more. No. Oh, I got the slow level twice. You know what? I'm going to keep this here because I might combine it with something else. So I'm, I need to combine the man, obviously. Yep, six mana region, and this is now gonna go on my good book. Let's continue rolling. Is the duet gonna stay? I'm not really sure. Keys, they're gonna stay. Uh, we roll the rare lightning chain. What is this? Upon completion, trigger an explosion that dispel most enemy spells within 2.5. What? Okay, I'm thinking about the following. I'm thinking about the following. Uh, I do enough crits. Okay, so let's say I'm not gonna use this, and we use this. So we switch these, we do a duet, and then I charging up my super duet, and I fire them. Boom! Ah, no. That is a lot less damage. Okay, you know what? Forget the meteor wand. We're never gonna change it. It's very powerful as is. <laughs> very powerful as is. Wait, I got another one of these? Yeah, I got another one of these. I knew that. Um, What else did I have here? Nothing. I guess the cooldown. This doesn't make sense to have have have. Oh, I had uh, the mana, the mana, the mana. I remember it. Okay, this needs this rare needs to roll into something I care about. Meteor number two, yes. Someone stays. Mana stays. This also stays. Okay, the time has come to rotate over to. I mean, hopefully. We have so many things here. Dash. I I need to get a level three. Let's roll the dash into something I already have. No. Change to its days. Or conclusion days. Okay, what I'm thinking about right now is the following. I roll my three rares I have into either the targeting thing or the meteor. 
Okay, I got two of these now. I keep this. We keep this as is. So now I'm going to roll the other rare I'm not using, which is uh, this one. This is a rare. Into the dash, hopefully. Black hole. Black hole's cool. Roll him. Self-aware so summoning book? No. Targets. Now, here we go. So I have two targets and two dashes. Do I have another rare to throw away? Arcane Explosion is a common. It, it can either roll into Mr. Keegan or it can roll into Thunderstorm. Or into Duet for that matter. This 20 DPS with summoned creatures might be good. 25% damage, that stays. Okay, we're slowly running out of choices here as to what to throw away. These are all used actually. Uh, casting spells freely, maybe. Now I think I should roll the dash into the navigation. I think that's the play. <laughs> or or into the, cr uh, the charging mode. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you gave me three choices I all want. So what can I gain out of these? This can give me three projectiles. Uh, this, uh, who cares about that? This, yeah, three projectiles. Wait, is this rare? This is common. I'm gonna roll the cooldown. Uh, this can roll... I said three projectiles. I already read that. This can roll better targeting, which is really important to me. And this can get increased spell damage equal to the half amount of the one remaining MP. This is also really good. And this can get... Well, up to 12 times. This does not help me. Oh, but 90% mana cost. Okay, so... Let's continue rolling. This is not needed. Salvo is not needed. Poison. Nope. I'm out of money. Wow, I'm out of money. Well, that's that then. I can't re-level really anything up. We have the damage. We have the cooldown. Do I need the cooldown? Do I need the cooldown? Whoop. Fire. Whoop. Fire. No, cooldown's useless. Uh, that cooldown goes here. Is this better tracking? Yeah, we're gonna go better tracking. Whoop. You guys gonna target from here? Yeah, the tracking has become godlike now. So we go twice double tracking. Mana, cooldown, mana, cooldown. Can I throw this out for a moment? No, that's too much mana spent. But the damage is higher, obviously, but no, too much mana spent. So I have tracking twice. I have the crits do a lot, and this has a crazy crit chance anyway. 70% crit chance. And this says that my crits do the damage to one more target. So that's really nice. We have even more crit chance with this. And the scatter. Yeah, I think everything's nice. Mana regen's good. Yeah, I'm just waiting for a couple more things to be gotten, and we're good. By the way, I think this does not happen here. So this is just make your spells cheaper. But it's gonna start charging now. I don't think it's gonna start charging. Yeah, no, it just summons it. Nope, yeah, it just summons it and then flings it. It might charge the pop, the pops plus. Nope, it just spawned two. Yeah, no, this just makes it cheaper, 90% cheaper. That That's good. We're gonna stick to it being cheaper. And also let's make this be super slowing. So improve the slowness these things provide. I have the slowing twice. And the damage should maybe go to electricity. And duet is pretty useless. Mm, Meteor Plus is gonna stay where it is. Oh, wait a minute. Can I do a duet with Meteors within Meteors? That's a stupid thing to do, though. Let's try this. You go away for a moment. And I would say even you go away for a moment. The rest are pretty important. Then I do a Meteor that shoots a Meteor. <laughs> Uh, let's shoot it anyway. Boom! Nope, not worth it. <laughs> Nothing is worth it, man. Somehow I just happened to create the best combo right away. Yeah, just a thousand right away. Well, how did that happen? Anyway, let's go. We need money now. Whoop, I'm ready. Fire! Instant everything died. Instantly everything died. You know what? Now I have good targeting. What's happening? I cannot attack. What happened? For some reason I cannot attack. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I don't know what happened. What is happening? Guys, I cannot attack. Okay, what happened, man? What happened? Uh, which of these is maybe the issue? Wait, I have my wand in my... I, I have the thing in my hand. Do you see this? No, I, I don't want to lose right now, man. Come on, man. I'm going to lose from a glitch. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm trying things, man. I'm trying things, I swear. Drink the potion, maybe. Drink the other potion, maybe. I slow down time. Okay, the charging is the issue. This needs to go. 
I don't want to die from stupid stuff. Leave the... Uh, come on, man. Do you see this? You know what? I'm going to return. No, I, I don't even have a choice here. No, man. I glitch. Ah, glitches kill us. Glitches kill us. And here we have to say the meme. Dev! By the way, I, I am actually trying to s fix this somehow, but it's... I, I can't even switch wands, man. Yeah, I... I'm hard stuck. It does not allow me to shoot. Switch this away, maybe. I'm dying. Switch this now. Now it actually works. Now it works. I don't even know what I did. And now I have nine life. And now I have nine life. Now, now I might as well lose, you know. I had this run going so well. And now we're at super panic. And yeah, of course, an opponent appeared below me. You know what? I'm gonna actually... Upgrade. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Glitches. I died from glitches, man. I died from glitches. This should not have been a thing. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> this needs to get fixed. I'm super sad about what just happened, but I can't do anything. And honestly, just from the fact alone that I want to showcase this glitch, um, yeah, uh, I, I will upload this as it is. Because this was a super awesome run with Meteors, and losing from the glitch is the only thing that could have killed us anyway in this run. It's as if the gods decided, you know what, I'm seeing you actually going for a win, therefore we're gonna glitch your game out so you cannot actually play. And in case you want to be sure if you can go back, I was spamming 1, 2, and 3, you could have seen my character say you cannot use a wand that is equipped with the thing that says the auto wand, because I was pressing 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, so it tried to equip the 1 wand, and it told me the text about you cannot equip it, but the number two wand, which didn't have that issue, never got equipped, right? You can see that the light never changed. These light up, by the way, when you switch control over them. So you can see that those never changed ever. Therefore, the glitch is proven. Also, you could have seen me literally drag items and then they stuck on my cursor. Normally, when you drag a spell on your cursor and you leave it, it drops on the ground. So that is also proof that it was glitched. You you can go back in the footage and see me being like this, right? Me having the thing on my hand and panicking. And normally when you let this thing off, boom, it drops. So that was not the case in the specific instance. So something happened there. I don't know what triggered it, but it is what it is, man. Glitches are part of the game when it's in, I think, early access. I'm pretty sure this is not launched yet. Let's go back to the main menu. Maybe it's visible there. Yeah, 0 0.75, so it's not launched officially. Makes sense. Bug report. I'm going to do that off screen. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do that. I have the whole video over here. Anyway, hope. what's the bug report? It opens up website. I'm not going to do it. If it was inside of this, it should have been inside of this, by the way. Um, it would have been better, but I'm, I'm not going to care about the website. So I have the video for proof. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, comment down below. Maybe an idea. An idea as to what I could play, what I could try. Or maybe somebody has an insight as to what exactly I glitched out. Because that's also maybe a thing that might be an issue. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. So maybe should have alt tabbed. I didn't alt tab at all. I could have alt tabbed. Because when I alt tab, it paused the game completely. So maybe that could have fixed it. I don't know. Uh, also, another thing that they could easily do to fix this issue would be just um, save the run. You know, save the run and go back to main menu because it, it had a go back to camp button and close the game button. So I don't want to, uh, I didn't want to risk losing everything. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.